Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my second part of my empties, which funny story, I already filmed this and I filmed a haul and they both got accidentally deleted. So luckily most of the items that was in my second part of the empties, I did not throw away. So I collected all of them in this bag. Um, the haul is a lost cause whatever I'm just taking the L on that one but we can do part two of the empties if you hear my dog um, crunching on this like crunchy toy she has I'm very sorry that's just my life right now so uh, let's just get into this lots of items to go through too um, body butters by the body shop this first one is frosted berries this usually comes out around Christmas time so I hope they bring it out again this Christmas season and then the body shop strawberry large body butter like this took me like a year and a half to use up I'm so sick of this scent I can't I can't I can't the um, frosted berries is similar but it's got more of like cranberry like Lots of um, other berries in it, so it smells really yummy, but still kind of that strawberry vibe. So if you like this, I think you'll really like this one. Then I finished up one of my Snow Fairy Shower Gels by Lush. I have another big size of this that I'm working on and a little size. This is one of my tried and true scents, like for uh, shower gel or anything bath related. So good, comes out during Christmas time at Lush. I always stock up, except this year, I think I'm not going to stock up. I'm gonna use some other ones. Just because I've consistently used this for the past year and a half, I want something different. I finished up Sugar Bear Hair Women's Multivitamins. I am not a doctor, I really like these. Especially they have vitamin D, which I am not super deficient in, but sometimes I really lack it. So this has really helped my numbers go up. My doctor's pretty happy with me taking these. They taste delicious. They're vegan and they're cruelty free, and I really like them. Okay, we have some candles in here. This first one I got at Target, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it's Peony Petals. It's like a sweet scent, not really like a floral. I don't know how to describe it. It was nice. Um, I haven't ever seen this again, so I probably won't repurchase it, but it was okay. Then we have some Bath and Body Works. This is Sea Salt and Linen. This was so good. I'm really sorry if this crinkling is bothering you guys. Like, I don't know what to do. I keep asking her to stop, but it's not happening. So this smells kind of like the cotton and linen fragrances with like a one uh, like an oceany touch. Like adding in something like this Aruba Ocean Side, which has a very ocean smell. If you love candles, you know what I mean. So it's almost like if you added this to cotton or fresh linen you would get this it smells so amazing i think i got this two years ago and i just hadn't used it and i don't think i've seen it since and i really wish they would bring this back because it's so good aruba oceanside is okay i like oceany scents when they're like this like just like a hint of them this is a little too much also, the candle I'm burning right now, it's Eucalyptus Rain. That's a little too oceany for me, but we're making it through. I'm just learning about what I really, really like. Um, last candle, Bath and Body Works as well. This is Rose Water and Ivy. I already have a backup or two of this. It's such a fresh rose scent. It's not super heavy and sickening. It's just really freaking beautiful. I just, I love this so much. Along the line of scents, we have Sweet Sangria by Bella Lume. Um, this is the Room Spray. I'm going through another one of these right now. I don't see this brand at Target anymore, which really makes me sad. Um, Sweet Sangria has been like a favorite scent of mine for years and years and years. So RIP, but this was good okay I went through the formula 10.0.6 so totally clean my cellar cleansing water and this is the sensitive formula this was pretty good I do have um, ones that are better like the it cosmetics miracle water that stuff is freaking fantastic it takes everything off but 
for drugstore, this was nice. Didn't burn my eyes or anything like that. Another makeup remover. This is my last one of these. I had so many of these gifted to me from a friend. It's the Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover. I have been using this for so many years, probably the last five or six years. This is finally my last one. They don't make this anymore. It was a really nice um, cream formula that really melted the makeup and I would just um, wipe it off with a washcloth. Gonna miss that, it was great, but now I'm using my Tatcha Cleansing Oil and then also using the um, Makeup Eraser Towel. Sorry, I couldn't think of it. Those are freaking fantastic. I will link below my um, first impression of those. Super cool. So we've got two hair products, two body products, um, some face stuff, and two makeup items. So let's do body. This is really gross looking. This is by Loving Tan. It's their back sponge. So you open it, you snap it closed, and then you put your mousse on here and you can really get your back if you don't have anybody to do it for you. This is all green and gross because I would never wash it or rinse it out after I used it. I have another one of these which I rinse out every time I use it so it stays looking nice and clean and not gross and disgusting like that. But I really like it, it really works super helpful. The last body product, this is Hand Food by Soap & Glory. This is the Sugar Crush scent, which is their lime scent. Oh, it smells so good. I have many backups of this. It's one of my favorite hand creams ever. Really good, and it's drugstore. Hair products. We have the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This was okay. I could see myself potentially buying this in the future as like a cheaper alternative, but I love my chlorine dry shampoo. That is number one for me. And then we have the Living Proof Perfect Day, Perfect Hair Day Body Builder. So this is a sample size that I bought just to kind of test this out. It's a hairspray. Cool thing is you can turn the nozzle to get more body or less body. Um, this is pretty decent and I bought the big size. Before we go into skincare, I do have a fragrance. This I used up in my Project Pan series. I will also link that series down below. Um, this is the Tokamaya perfume. This smells really elegant. It's a heavier scent, but not like Chanel number no. five. You know what I mean? It's really nice. I don't think this is um, a very universal perfume. I think it has an acquired taste possibly because it is a little heavier, but I love it and I have the bigger rollerball of this. Okay, let's do skincare and then we have two makeup products. So I went through the um, Camellia Gold Spun Lip Balm by Tatcha. This was okay, it was like a gel consistency. It wasn't the most hydrating, but it was comfortable on the lips. So I wouldn't repurchase it. It came in one of those holiday bento boxes. So I just used it up because I had it. Then we have two products that revolve around vitamin C. And these were, um, I know this was, I don't know about this, but part of favorites. So sorry, I have a hair. One of my hair is in here. So this is the Ole Hemrickson Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. A really nice oil. Love vitamin C and what it does for the skin. It felt nice. It smelled a little weird just sometimes when an orange scent is in a um, liquid consistency like this instead of a cream like this. It just smells a little off, but it was a really nice oil. And then this is the CEO 15% Vitamin C Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. I bought a big size of this because I loved this so much. It smells like orange creamsicle, really delicious, and I love what this does to the skin. All right, two makeup products, and then we're done. So this first one is the Wouter by Glossier. I have this in light medium. 
So this was a really nice powder. Um, it usually has a mesh thing right here, but I cut it out just to get the very last bit of powder in here. Love the packaging, super cute. Um, thing is, like this is pretty comparable to the Milani translucent powder that I use, which is cheaper than this. Um, also, Milani is a little bit more accessible. I have to order this online, whereas like I can just go in store. Um, like CVS or Target and pick it up. Last product is this gem right here. Thank God I have a backup because I want to wear this on my wedding day. This is Bite Beauty Madeira. It's one of their high pigment lip pencils. They no longer make this anymore, which is so sad because it is such a beautiful color. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful mid-tone nudie pink for me and it's just, I'm obsessed. And what I'm gonna do is, um, I've been to the Bite Beauty Labs in New York before, I made two lipsticks, so what I wanna do is bring um, the other one I have of this so that they can match the color and I can get it in a lipstick. And that's the one cool thing about Bite Beauty Labs, if you have a lipstick that you're obsessed with, say it was discontinued, you can bring it there, they can take a little chunk of it off and match it as best as they can so that's one really cool thing so i'm going to do that with this even though this was their own product i just i need it in my life forever forever so good i just found one more product that was at the bottom of the bag this is the ole henriksen nurture me moisturizing cream i loved this it has a very citrusy scent like creamsicle with like a zing of some kind of other citrus. I love this. It was really nice. It was a really thick consistency, so I could just take my nail and um, kind of scrape it out. But then it was super emollient and really melted into the skin. So gorgeous. So once I start using up more of my moisturizers, I'm gonna buy a big full size of this. Okay. Those were all the empties for summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.